Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues as we find ourselves back in Princeton, New Jersey, the home of the Tigers of Princeton. It was announced by Chris Harris that he's recognizing both Sean Gray and Joe Dubuque uh, with uh, the assignation of associate head coach. And he joins us now, does one of those two, and that's Joe Dubuque. Joe, welcome back. How are you? Thanks a lot, Scott. Appreciate you having me. Congratulations on the uh, the new uh, the new title of associate head coach. Uh, job well done, being recognized by the institution of which you serve. Talk about that and how special it is. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, I mean, it's it's really exciting uh, to get this new title, and and um, you know, with that comes new responsibilities, uh, which you know, me and Sean are are very excited to kind of tackle um you know I, I thank chris for you know instilling in both of us the confidence uh you know with that title i mean that's a, a pretty important um you know step for us you know just being assistants and, and moving us up to associate head coach uh position i think it also uh shows other ad's that that we are uh capable of uh holding you know, that position. So, you know, myself and Sean, we both have goals of being head coaches someday. Um, so I think that's definitely going to put us on the right path to achieving our goal in that. Um, in regards to, you know, just how it's going to affect Princeton, uh, it's going to be, you know, I think it's going to be business as usual. You know, it's not like it's going to be, you know, we're going to just change everything that we do uh, just because we have a new title. Um but I think it, it does show our guys uh, that, you know, the head coach is very confident in his assistance that, you know, he would give us this promotion. Um, and I think he's going to definitely uh, give us a little bit more uh, room to, you know, maybe take on some of those uh, head coaching responsibilities, uh, maybe just give us some experience in that aspect. So uh, for me, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm so grateful. Um, you know, to, you know, uh, of Chris and, and Princeton and, and Molly Marcoux, who's our uh, athletic director. So, um, you know, good things are coming. You know, we're, uh, we're all, we're all excited about this new change. We're talking with uh, arguably the best athlete to ever graduate Glen Ridge High School, a 2001 Ridger graduate. Yeah. And I remember talking to you as you made your decision to go to uh, University of Indiana where he became a two-time NCAA wrestling champ. Um, how, was, was this uh, openly uh, the search for you guys to, to go to uh, associate head coach status? Was it being openly discussed, or was it uh, sprung on you? Uh, yeah, I think we were in discussions uh, of things like that. I mean, um, you know, Sean was asked to interview at a couple places uh, for the head coaching positions, um, so, uh, and, and I had been called about some positions. So I think, uh, you know, Chris was, you know, seeing that we were both, uh, you know, being, or, or both desirable, uh, you know, on the market. So I think, uh, one way just to kind of, you know, for him selfishly to keep us here, uh, that was a step he, he wanted to take, um, and he discussed it with us. And, um, I know for myself, uh, I'm, I'm so happy here, and I'm really happy with what uh, we're doing and the progress that we're taking as a program. Uh, it's pretty exciting to, you know, kind of, you know, break records year in and year out, uh, getting, you know, really good uh, recruiting classes and uh, just trying to push the, the limit of this program um, every year. And I think the thing is, is that uh, for me, I just love coming to work. I mean, it, it's really something when – I wake up in the morning, I'm excited to get in the office. I'm excited to, to go into an individual workout with one of my guys um, and, and just helping them improve, you know, upon their skill sets. So it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that Chris uh, was able to, you know, promote both me and Sean. So um, I think that's something that, that we were, uh, that he was looking to do um, for us to just kind of keep us here. You know, uh, Sean, which, Sean Gray was worked. there, right? When you got there, he was there for a year. Yep. Uh, and then you've been there now for five years. And, uh, yep. you know, what you've been able to do with Gray and Ayers and the balance, uh, you've been able to assemble a great staff, number one. Number two, 
bring in some hot recruits and take those hot recruits and turn them into something. It's not easy getting into Princeton. It's even harder to stay. Uh, so I, you encourage your athletes to be stellar academically. And uh, it's not always easy to do that, is it? No, no, it's, it's difficult. And I think that's one of, uh, you know, one of our pitches to our guys. It's not even really a pitch. It's, a, it's actually just the reality of it. Uh, we tell them it's hard here academically. And it's hard here wrestling. So if you don't want it hard, this is probably not the place for you. you but, but you come here and you get challenged both, both academically and wrestling-wise to see if you can reach your fullest potential. Um, and I think that's something that, that attracts that special student-athlete that we're looking for. Um, so up to this point, it's worth. Well, this last year, I think it's, uh, it's, you've been able to identify some of the strengths and some areas you need to work in, but you came in third in the AIWA, just points behind Lehigh, if I recall, 25th at the NCAAs for the first time in over three decades. I mean, we're seeing uh, leaps uh, every season, how you guys are improving, and uh, the nation's taking uh, taking notice. Kind of cool, isn't it? It's very cool. Um, <laughs> and I think, you know, we still, obviously, we still haven't achieved the goals that we've, you know, we're setting out to uh, achieve, but we're making progress every year. And I think that's, that's the thing that you can still look, uh, look forward to. Um, when you stop making progress, that's when we have to reevaluate things. But every year we've been, you know, we've been moving up. Uh, you know, this year we got the the first freshman All American in program history. Uh, you know, again, like you said, we were third. We we sent a uh, a, re- a program record seven guys to NCAA tournament. So uh, so that stuff is really exciting. Um, you know, but but our goal is we want to be a program that's consistently in the top ten. You know, we're consistently producing multiple All-Americans. We have guys who are competing for national championships. Those are our goals. Um, and we're going to, you know, keep steadfast on those goals. And, and those are the things we're driving in our athletes' heads. I mean, that's – it's good. Yeah, progress is great. You know, it's, it's awesome. But, again, you know, those are the goals that we're, we're striving for. Um, and I think that's what kids want to hear. Uh, they want to hear that – they, they have the opportunity, or at least they have the coaching staff, that is setting the bar very high. And we are, our expectations uh, of our athletes are of that. So I think um, when, when kids come in uh, recruiting-wise and they hear that stuff, I think that gets them excited. And I think that, that they see that they have everything here, um, you know, all the resources available to them to make that happen. Coach, I got to ask you. Um, looking back at your alma mater, and that, of course, being Indiana, where you uh, again took two NCAA championships in a in a very dominant fashion, I might add. Looking back at that alma mater, it's been uh, announced, of course, that they'll be getting new wrestling facilities, uh, and that's something they've needed, right? Absolutely. I think um, you know it was uh, w- where it was was it was a little bit off the beaten path, um, so it was really kind of hard to get to get a lot of fans to that match, just, you know, people really didn't even know where the, the venue was. Uh, now it's going to be right near the, uh, the football stadium, or actually it's going to be off the track and field um, off of Assembly Hall. So uh, it, hopefully it'll be easier uh, for people to get in and, and to come and, and obviously attract students. I think that's really the biggest thing. If you can have something that's accessible to students uh, within walking distance, I think you're going to see uh, an increase in crowd. Um, but also, I mean, it just gives them a, a fresh new recruiting tool, uh, which is always good, which is always something that you can use uh, on the road when you're, when you're recruiting and pitching to, to recruits. Um, I think it shows the investment that the athletic department wants to put into uh, wrestling and volleyball. So uh, it's good. I think, um, you know, what, what IU is doing is, is hopefully trying to make a, uh, make a run at you know, being in the top half of the Big Ten and, and consistently placing uh, in the top 15, top 10, uh, again, producing multiple All-Americans and things like that. So I think this is definitely going to help their cause. All right. So I've described you in the past as being a hard nose, hard driving, always on the attack. Uh, and perhaps uh, you've been able to dial that in or, or at least uh, focus that in a, you know, on, on your coaching career, but I got to ask you: of your two kids, Chase and Sienna, which is most like you? My daughter, actually. Sienna. So my, 
Yeah, so Sienna's uh, more like me. She's uh, she's mean. She's tough. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get her into wrestling. I think uh, I think she needs wrestling, and wrestling needs her. So uh, I'm excited. I'm I'm excited for her to strap the shoes on. Uh, my son is a terrific athlete, uh, but um, he's uh, he's a little emotional. So, uh, but I, I bust him. He's a he's a hard working kid. It's pretty exciting because he actually just went through his first sleepover camp here at Princeton. Uh, which was four days long, and he did a great job. So um, he's, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see where, uh, where his wrestling career goes from here. Uh, but yeah, Sienna is more like me. She's actually built like me too. So, I love it. Now, it, yeah. you said the first uh, four, four day uh, sleepover camp. Um, is it hard being a, a dad and a coach? It, it is, uh, without a doubt. It's definitely hard. Um, you, you know, if I'm running a practice and, and Chase is there, uh, I sometimes find myself gravitating towards him, and uh, but I have to catch myself. You know, uh, he ha- you have to treat him just like, a, you know, every other kid. Uh, you know, not any more attention and not any less. So um, it is a difficult thing to, to, to juggle, but I, I've been in this a long time, and I've seen uh, good things dads and, and, and parents do, and I see the bad things. So uh, I've been able to take from uh, both of those experiences uh, to really help uh, my son, you know, achieve whatever he wants to achieve. I mean, this is this is his career. It's not my career. It's not something that I'm pushing him to strive, something that uh, I, you know, I achieved or, or anything more than I achieved. Uh, this is his and I'm going to aid him in any way I can. Um, but I think that's the most important thing that he's that he's steering the ship. Uh, in his wrestling career because wrestling is a hard sport. Um, it's the hardest sport. And if he's, uh, if he's not the one, if I'm the, if I'm the lead motivator uh, in his career, I don't think it's going to end up you know, great for him. So um, I'm just going to try and uh, help him in any way I can. I think making a one's own decision with, with the right kind of guidance makes the sport that much more relevant, the effort put in, uh, that much more... Uh, well, it's it's a favorable payback, and I think that's how we need to look at it. I think you're correct. I mean, uh, Jamie was Jamie uh, pleased with uh, uh, the new title and 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 the benefits that uh, come with it. Absolutely. Um, I mean, she sees she sees the hard work that uh, that we've been putting in. Um, you know, on the road a lot. Uh, really, just trying to strive to achieve our goals, and and I think you know she sees the behind the scenes. Uh, things that go on, um, you know, how hard I work. So uh, she was very, very happy for me. Um, you know, I've been I've been coaching now 11 years, so and she's been she's been there every step of the way. Um, so to for her to see me achieve this, I think she was very happy, um, and she loves it here. So I think that was another uh, big piece of it. Um, you know, she wants to she wants to see us here at Princeton for a long time. Um, until you know, maybe another opportunity to be a head coach comes up. But um, but yeah, uh, and, and I think she shares the same uh, work ethic uh, I have in, in her own career. Um, right now, she's actually at a uh, a reading and writing institute in Columbia University, uh, just trying to you know do some professional development. Uh, always trying to perfect her craft. So um, you know, I, I try to aid her just as much, or you know, I try to aid her just as much as she aids me. Very um, cool. So good. Are, are twos, um, you seem to be focused on twos. You're a two-time New Jersey champ, two-time NCAA champ. You have two kids. <laughs> a lot of twos. I wish there were some threes in there. I would have been better. <laughs> it's always good to talk to you, Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, we have our friendship. You and Sean Gray obviously deserve uh, the uh, commencement of... Uh, of your careers at Princeton job. Well done. I can't wait to see it. 2017 looks like, are you guys hosting Rutgers this year? We will be. Um, we are trying to figure out a venue. It's either going to be in Jadwin gym or something a little bit more unique. Uh, we always try to push the envelope, uh, in that regard, you know, last year we were in a football stadium. So this year we, uh, we either want to sell out Jadwin or we want to, you know, kind of get into, a little bit of a different venue um, to kind of make it a, a unique experience. So uh, I think it's going to be 
in the the middle of February um, when we'll be when we'll be hosting them. Well, you let me know. Whatever we can do to help promote it, we'll be happy to do so. Appreciate you joining me in the Nike hot seat today. God, thanks so much for having me. Always a pleasure. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper, a very special guest today, one half of the two that's been promoted to associate head coach, Sean Gray. This one, Joe Dubuque, one of our faves. Joe, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks, guys.